To measure amps in a circuit, the multimeter must be connected in line with the circuit. In this case, we want to measure the number of amps that this motor is using. First, you need to review the instructions for your multimeter and follow those instructions carefully. This multimeter is only capable of reading 200 milliamps through the fused connection. Since I am not exactly sure of the amp usage of this motor, I am going to move the positive probe to this connection, which is capable of reading up to 10 amps. I then set the meter to the 10 amp setting. We will use alligator clip leads to connect the multimeter to the motor circuit. To do this, I remove the positive battery connection from the motor and then click the alligator clip lead to the positive probe. An alligator clip lead from the common probe to the other motor terminal. The motor immediately starts running as you can read the amps from the meter screen. This is a no load amp reading. Watch what happens to the reading as I squeeze the motor shaft and make it work harder. The amp reading increases. Many motors have an amp reading that for a stall that shows the amount of amps the motor will try to use should you completely stop the motor. Your wiring and controls should be capable of handling this amount of current even if you don't anticipate that your motor will ever get into a stall condition.